Today I'm going to talk about using the Create React App tool from Facebook to get us started with React. Now a lot of people have been diagnosed with JavaScript fatigue recently in the community. The term JavaScript fatigue means they were just overwhelmed with the amount of new tools pop, uh, popping up every single day. So in, in, for newbies, if they want to start with React, it gets very difficult due to the sheer amount of things they had to learn. So Facebook thought we should create a tool to help everybody get started on React. So you can focus on writing the code and learn React rather than setting up all the tools to, you know, get just to get started. So they built this tool called Create Face uh, Create React App, which is a command line tool to help you get started. So if you work with anything like a mean stack, this is very similar. So to get started, you, all you have to do is install this global tool called Create React App. The only uh, requirement for this is Node.js 4.x or higher. So you have to do npm install global create react app. Mm. So this will create the uh, the command line uh, command for create react app into your terminal. So next thing you need to do is we need to create a project, a React project. Let's call this React test. So this will set everything up, including npm install and setting up all the configurations for the project for you. It may take a few minutes for everything to install. And this will, um, if you're on, let's say I'm on desktop here, it will create a folder called React Test. So once this is finished installing, we can uh, navigate into the folder and then start our project. I'll show you in a minute how easy it is. This requires no knowledge of how React works. It just requires basic uh, Node.js knowledge. And if you notice here, I'm using uh, Node 5.6.0. You really need to have 4.x and higher. Uh, so it looks like it's about to be done. It's installing all these tools here, which you do not need to worry about. You don't need to know what they are but if you want to you can dig into it so it looks like it's done and it tells us that we need to cd into the directory and do npm start so let's do that so now this will start the initialization process for the project um, there's a script called to for npm start if here i have the project open you can go into package JSON and you can see that um, npm start actually calls React Script start, which uh, starts everything up. So give it a second. Uh, if you have a browser open, it should open up your uh, open up to the browser to your local host, and you should see something if we did everything correctly. As you can see, it opens up to localhost 3000, and here it is. This is the project uh, default page. Very simple, right? If you look at the, let's look at the project tree for this uh, project. It's very simple. You have no modules for all your dependencies. And what all you need to worry about is here inside the source folder. Everything outside of here is pretty standard uh, project. Here we have a div called root, which we will mount our React components into. So yeah, index will mount the app component into the root div. And inside the app is a very simple page with the uh, with the assets for this page. So as you can tell, you can import logo even though this is an SVG. You can import it directly into here this way, and then you can import the CSS file like that. And this project will understand. Uh, underneath it all, Webpack does the magic to uh, bring this in. So you know, and you you notice it also. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll also do uh, live updates. So let's say I don't want this word welcome. You say hi to React. When I press save, you can see that it reloads immediately and updates for you. So this is very nice and handy. Um, 
Next thing we need to do is to figure out how to, let's say you want to build this thing for production. All you have to do is do npm run build. This will concatenate all your CSS and JavaScript and create a folder called build in the directory. And this is where you can upload it to your server and then it will start, uh, it will serve the project to the server. And if you want the assistance, like here the tool tells you you can do this. Use the push state server project and you can basically do push state server build and then this will serve to your project in from the build folder at port 9000. So if you go to 9000 and it works. So here the only difference is everything here is minified. So all the CSS and JS are minified. It's production ready. So that's very nice and handy. Uh, okay. The next part we need to talk about is uh, installing modules. So let's say you know you want to install Bootstrap to this project. So we have we can do that very easily by doing the following. So you just type npm install React Bootstrap and save it. This will install the Bootstrap React Bootstrap project to your folder to your npm uh, repository. And then we'll install the Bootstrap 3 project. So the way we can import, after it's installed, we can import the, uh, the Bootstrap files into the source. So we, in the index, source index.js, we need to import the theme, the CSS. And then inside the, uh, our actual app components, we need to import the components. So for this example, let's install a navbar to our project. So this here will install the navbar. We're just importing the components from the React Bootstrap object. And then we need to place the actual navbar into our project. So all, they, all it is is a HTML semantics. So let's put it right underneath the beginning of our project. So this here is basically a navbar with elements in there. So let's start the project. This should be all you need to put a navbar on top of our header. So give it a second to start. If you're familiar with React, you should be pretty familiar with how this works. This is basically getting these components, importing these components from React Bootstrap object. And then you, uh, you basically put them on the page and then this will basically work. So if I go to 3000, it seems like the server is still starting. Yeah, the server sometimes takes a while to start, uh, but once it's started, you usually don't want to um, stop it because it takes a while to start. For the development server, like here, so it works. You see that? Like how I just got a navbar up here. So it's really handy and it's super crazy quick. Like if I want to change the link to, you know, home, contact, press save, and it should update automatically. So this is an extremely simple and very friendly to for developers. So now that we talk about how to install a module into the project, let's talk about ejection. Ejection is a feature that's built into this project that allows you to desimplify this whole process. Let's say you're an you're a advanced user or you have a project that you already set up with React and you will just want to migrate over the stuff from here into your existing project. Uh, that's very easy to do. All you have to do is, you know, you can consult the documentation. Um, I mean, I have it here. Sorry, give me a second. Um, Let's go to their GitHub and you can find out how to eject the project. So you can eject by running npm run eject. Watch what happens to the project file. It asks, I want to confirm, I say yes. Watch what happens to this directory once I hit eject. As you can see, there are a couple of new folders being created. One is the config folder and the other is the scripts folder. So this is the stuff that's the magic underneath the, the 
simple project that we had before. This com will give you complete flexibility to modify the project and the way it works. So this is definitely not for beginners. Uh, if you're familiar with Webpack and React in general, you should you can use this to tailor this project to your needs. So overall, I'm very uh, impressed with what Facebook is doing for the community to create this project. And it definitely helps uh, obscure some of the complexity associated with JavaScript fatigue. So I'm very excited to find out where this will go in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.